What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, I have some brand new WWE figure customs for you guys. Some that we uh, finished up yesterday, and a lot of them are works in progress. We have some new custom Finn Balor's. If you guys missed the community page on the, uh, you know, the YouTube subscription box, I think you hit the community tab. You can go through and see like some posts, sort of like an Instagram feed, and like I can contact you guys, talk about everything. I posted the other day a uh, poll about a custom Finn Balor. I said which custom Finn Balor should we do next? I think we had we had the St. Patrick's Day Finn Balor. We had the Money in the Bank 2019. We had the Royal Rumble 2019. We had his current, you know, SmackDown Live attire with the blue and the white kick pads. Just like the Royal Rumble 2019, but it's the blue and white version. We had some attires from 2017, I think. It's like a white, silver, and black. And then we had a black, red, and then another off-color red that he wore on Monday Night Raw when he was a part of that roster. And I think that's all the... Oh, and then uh, TLC 2018, I think, where he took on Drew McIntyre where he defeated him and you know it's like the maroonish short, sort of like scaly looking uh, attire that he wore in that match with Drew McIntyre and I got a lot of great feedback I think it had like 400 or four like over 400 comments on the post which I was completely shocked by I thank you guys so very much for that awesome support on that post and I appreciate you guys giving me your feedback so I took that into consideration and I started my customs yesterday I have three work in progresses and um Two of them are pretty much almost completely done. I mean, there's not much else to add to them. I mean, uh, they're almost completely done. But let's go ahead and run through them, guys. I guess we can start off first with the St. Patrick's Day Finn Balor. And this one was uh, this one was pretty fun to make so far. You know, I do have to add the Daniel Bryan arms with the white wrist tape. But the St. Patrick's Day attire, um, there is supposed to be a BC logo right here that I haven't done just yet. But it is just a lighter green. It took me a minute to get the color right, like, because I didn't have a specific color that would match the attire so I had to mix and match some colors but you see the lighter green and then the darker green on the sides there on the side there. I think I still have to add the little triangle pattern on his butt. You have the dual tone knee pads, the darker green on the back, lighter green on the front, and then the kick pads I did not switch out just yet, but you know, uh, Finn Balor at the, with this attire, he didn't wear the pointy CM Punk slash Finn Balor kick pads. He had square kick pads, so I had to find an, an extra, I think these are an extra pair of Miz kick pads, so I painted these up. You got the green stripe on the back, you got the green face of the kick pads. I still have to add the details to the shoes, and then we have to seal the whole thing up, add the BC logo to the trunks, and it'll be done, except for the, the white wrist tape, which we'll get that one done. I think that one will be fairly simple to do. That only took me like an hour or so to do this much, so we will complete the St. Patrick's Day Finn Balor, which is looking pretty solid. It's, you know, it's not my favorite attire that he's worn, but it's still cool to add it to the collection. You know, since I have so many of the Finn Balors, it's cool to, you know, have that and add it to the, the timeline over there on the shelf. So that is St. Patrick's Day Balor. Next up, guys, we have another Finn Balor, and it is Money in the Bank 2019, we have the one that he wore literally not too long ago. It is the Navy version, and it looks pretty good. I still, again, just like the St. Patrick's Day attire, I do have to add the arms with the white wrist tape, which I have a lot of because I've had a lot of Daniel Bryans in the past. And the way I did this one is I just took the top talents, I sanded off the logo, because if you guys don't know, the logo on all of these, actually, that's why I haven't sanded off this logo. I started painting it, and then I realized the logo was on there. I still have to sand it off. So you sand off the logo there, you sand off the BC logo on the butt cheek because if you don't, there's going to be a lifted logo underneath your paint and it's going to show through. I promise you to Jesus, it will absolutely show through. So I sanded that off, cleaned it up good. Came in with some Elite 53 Miz knee pads because they actually match the color pretty good there. You guys can see the navy color matches. And then for the kick pads, the same thing. Elite 53 Miz, if you guys didn't know, is the navy attire. And so I took the knee pads and kick pads from that figure since I had an extra one. And uh, you guys see I acetone all of the paint off and all I have to do is pop these on here, add the gray to the kick pads, add the details to the shoes, add the little logos to the trunks, switch those arms, and that one will be completely done with not that much paint. It'll literally be just paint on the trunks and a little bit of paint on the kick pads. Since we use navy kick pads for that, I think that matches pretty good once we seal all of it up. I think it'll look really, really good, and it will look like his Money in the Bank 2019 gear, where he literally took every bump, guys. He, he took every bump. Did we see the match? Andrade Cien almost with the Sunset Powerbomb off the ladder onto the other ladder. Uh, 
Uh, he got double su he got suplexed onto a ladder by Drew McIntyre. He got choke slammed onto a, the hardest part of the ladder by Trash Corbin. I mean, my boy was just taking all the bumps, man. It was absolutely incredible the way he was doing that. And I, I know that his back was all whelped up and sore after that matchup. But there's Money in the Bank 2019, Finn Balor. We're going to put him over here. If you guys are ever painting trunks and they don't have kick pads on, just lay them down like that. Pull the arms back and just kind of sit them like that. That will keep them, you know, from touching anything. That's just sort of a fig hack for you guys uh, in this video. But there's the Miz and the Finn Balor and the kick pads and all that stuff. Here's what I was originally doing. I had some top talent Finn Balor knee pads, and you guys can see there they are painted navy. Um, they're not completely painted navy because I did. I was almost done painting them, and then I realized I had that Miz, and I was like, no, bro, we're, I'd rather not use paint. So there's that, and then this kick pad is almost completely uh, painted. You guys can see the navy going over it when I when I decided to change my mind. So there is uh, those kick pads and knee pads that'll probably go in the fodder box or I'll acetone all that paint off, wash all that paint off, and use those in the future or something. But there is that. We also have this uh, custom Finn Balor for TJ. I, I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but there is the dual tone red Finn Balor. He got the black BC logo on the booty cheek right there and this is what I'm talking about I didn't uh, I did not sand off the front logo and you guys can see it is still there you can see the bullet club or Balor club logo coming through and I don't think TJ will care because you can't really see it that much but it would have bothered me so I made sure to do it on mine and I hope that uh, that hope that doesn't bother you bro but there's the Finn Balor for TJ we have that um, I think I showed you guys this one before but it is completely sealed now it is the NXT takeover New Orleans Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Gargano got all the logos got all this this is completely hand painted you got the live or diy all the stuff going on uh great looking trunks designs you got johnny wrestling on the butt cheek uh really happy with the way this came out it's probably one of my best hand paint jobs i think it's pretty solid and um i i, I like it a lot i like the way it came out and i hope he can get some good use out of it in his fed we have the Dolph Ziggler that I made for TJ. Here it is. It's just the Elite 48, but I did paint over all the red on the butt with pink instead of red. It looks much better this way, and I like the way that Ziggler looks. And it's perfect timing because he just returned to TV, so that's beautiful there. We also have a custom Marty Skrull, and for this one, I don't know if you guys saw the figure that he sent me that was all beat up. The head scan was all messed up and stuff. I completely redid the head scan. Um, I had an extra one for him, and so I used one of my own personal collection. I used a figure from my own personal collection, Mixed it up nice. You have the nice haircut, the fade haircut going all the way around. You have the Miz body that matches his skin tone a lot more. You have the umbrella on the trunks there. I didn't want to add anything on the back. He said he wanted something simple, so I just put the umbrella there, added the knee pads, added the Sami Zayn boots, and there you go. You got a custom Marty Skrull to go with that. Um, the next few figures, you guys saw the, or this one is a TLC work in progress. All it is, literally, guys, is, uh, I, I, know, I hate this head scan for it, but, you know, I, I don't have another Top Talents head scan. I've used it for customs and fix-ups and stuff, so I'm going to have to track down some basics or something. Um, it doesn't look that bad, but it does have to be repainted or something. But you guys saw, I, I did, like, one line of the red, and then I was like, crap, i got to acetone off or acetone and sand off that logo there, and I still have to acetone and sand off that logo. So I'll have to do that before I move any further with this Finn Balor figure here. And then we have another Finn Balor back here that is going to be one of those figures. I don't know what attire is going to be, but look at this freaking head right here, guys. I want you guys to see his nose is shaved off. This came out of the packaging, packaging this way. You guys can see. Look at the nose. It's shaved off. His hair's missing there. I guess it's just like a factory error or something. Not a big deal. You can just pop the head scan off, get a new head scan on there. But that Finn Balor kind of got effed from the beginning. And then we have the uh, Money in the Bank 2018 Seth Rollins with the... The, you know, the WrestleMania attire with the belt buckle instead of the Seth Rollins logo. You got the gold kick pads, the gray going all the way around. Really nice. Seth, glad to uh, have done that. I've done that attire many times for people. They've commissioned that one a lot. So I can do that one on autopilot pretty much. But that, I think that's about it. We got all the custom Balors in here. We got the St. Patty's Day. We got the, the stuff for TJ. All of the good jazz going on. Money in the Bank 2019. Finn. We got our Miz parts laying around. I mean, they, I'm going to finish these today, most likely, and uh, show them off to you guys maybe uh, at, the, at the end of the week or something like that. Been dealing with some uh, family stuff the past few days, so I haven't been able to work on Vindication, but I am trying my very best. Um, you know, I had to take sort of a smaller break after uh, after the Royal Rumble because, you know, to give myself a mental break after putting so much effort and work into that show, I had to take a mental break away and, you know, just uh, take my time and, you know, tweak the script just a little bit, make sure everything is cleared to go, and uh, we will have that show up as soon as possible, but we also have 
the uh, the MDT monthly battle royal. We could not do it for April because the MDT Royal Rumble was so stressful, and you know it took up all the time in the arena and everything. So I could not do the MDT battle royal for April. But for the month of May, guys, I have something very special planned for the MDT Royal or for the MDT battle royal. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be absolutely epic, and I think it's going to be the best battle royal that we've ever done. So definitely be on the lookout for the MDT battle royal coming uh, within the next week or so. But that pretty much does it for the customs, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Comment down below what you think of the customs. If you think of any other Finn Balors that I haven't done, please let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.